Welcome to Tyrannosaurus Rifts. My name is Brandon and today we're going to check out my Schecter prototype, Apocalypse Avenger. The Avenger FRS Apocalypse comes with Grover Rotomatic 18-1 tuners. The fretboard is made of ebony and features 24 extra jumbo stainless steel frets. We've got glow-in-the-dark side markers, a thin C neck shape, a Sustainiac in the neck position, a Schecter Apocalypse bridge pickup, and a Floyd Rose 1500 series. This guitar is a set neck with the ultra access heel, is made of swamp ash, and features black one ply binding. You've got one volume and one tone with a three way pickup switch, and then your different Sustainiac switches. As usual, there are chapters below, so if you want to skip around through the video, please feel free to do that. But before we jump into the demo, let's check this out in a quick mix. All right, I hope you're all doing well out there. Thank you for joining me for today's episode to check out this Schecter Avenger prototype. Now, as I said, this is a one of a kind. It somewhat has a twin like Harry Potter's wand to Voldemort's. Now, drum, the prototypes for Schecter are sent to Drum City Guitarland out of Colorado. They have excellent customer service and a really good selection of guitars. Compared to my other Avengers, it has that forearm kind of bevel cut. It's a lot more comfortable. I don't mind the flat bodied ones, but this really does add some comfort. But let's play this thing. Let's stop talking and check out some riffs. Now this guitar does have a Schecter Apocalypse bridge pickup and it is tuned to drop C. We're running straight into the Marshall JVM 410, Mesa Boogie oversized cabinet with the vintage 30s, two notes torpedo captor X behind me. I've got my Marshall pedal switch to flip around on the channels and my air step connected so I can turn the amp off and speak to you without that without that annoying buzz. So let's start with a couple clean riffs because that's how I like to do things and then we'll move on to some high gain riffs. <laughs> This guitar was given to me as a gift from someone that knew I had been watching for this guitar, hoping that it would be made. I'd made a purchase with a different hobby of mine a week before this was released. That person found out that I no longer had the money and the item I had was no longer, was not, and the item I had purchased was non-refundable. So I got surprised with this from someone special. So it's really cool. Can't say who it's from. It's not from anyone at Schecter or anyone to even do with this channel. So we'll just leave it at that. I'm, I'm very blessed to have this guitar. I love Avengers. If you've been to this channel, you've seen plenty of them. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Let's play Name That Riff. Who knows this one? <laughs> hint I'm gonna give you fan or liar probably just lost half my subscribers move on to the high game I definitely need to redeem myself for 
playing that last clean riff, so... <laughs> The guitar has a bit of a twangy sound. I don't know if that's translating to you guys, but it's definitely a lot brighter with this. Um, this is a pretty high output pickup, but it definitely has a, a much brighter sound than I'm used to. I play a lot of my guitars, if you've never been here before, have Fish and Influence pickups, and that's what I'm generally playing, but this guitar has been left stock. Funny thing about this guitar, when I was buying up all my Avengers in the used market in 2017, they were much cheaper. Obviously this one wasn't used, it was a gift. But um, I, w I couldn't wait to take this to show my band at the time, Raise the Pyre. A lot of the riffs I play are from my Raise the Pyre album that I did with my friends. Um, unfortunately, when I was going to take this guitar to practice that night was the night the band kind of stopped happening. So I never got to use this with people and check this out in that setting, but I still have it, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> What guitars do you have that are one of a kind? Do you have any? Do you have any prototypes? Do you have any that you've built? Or other brands that are one-offs? If you do, you should send them to me. Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Let's talk guitars. That's enough new boot goofing for one night. I hope you enjoyed checking out the one of a kind Schecter Apocalypse Avenger with me and checking out some fun riffs. Now, if you want to get your own Schecter prototype, go to drumcityguitarland.com. They are located right next door to me in Denver, Colorado. I'm in Utah. They have excellent customer service. And before they ship out any guitar to you, whether it's a prototype or not, you can have them do a setup, they'll change the string gauges to what you like, the brand you like. Great customer service, no complaints. Thanks again for hanging out, I really do appreciate everyone's time. Stay safe out there and I'll see you soon.